Rocket Lab is building the critical communications infrastructure that'll become the backbone for all future Mars missions. Basically creating the internet for the red planet, they're developing a constellation of small satellites to orbit Mars, providing constant reliable data relay between rovers, landers, astronauts, and Earth, solving the communication blackout problems plaguing current missions. This network will enable real-time HD video streaming, faster data transmission, and uninterrupted contact with mission control, absolutely crucial for future crewed expeditions. Using their proven Photon spacecraft platform, Rocket Lab is making Mars communications affordable and scalable, transforming how we'll explore and eventually colonize the Red Planet. ARC is a groundbreaking space delivery vehicle unveiled in October 2025 by Los Angeles startup Inversion that can deliver up to 500 pounds of cargo from orbit to anywhere on Earth in under an hour. These eight-foot spacecraft wait in orbit, then autonomously descend at hypersonic speeds exceeding Mach 20, maneuver across hundreds of miles during re-entry, and land safely under parachutes. Designed for military and emergency response, ARC can drop medical supplies, drones, or critical equipment to disaster zones and remote locations. With the first mission planned for 2026, Inversion envisions thousands of ARC spacecraft forming a global space-based logistics network. NASA's Big Metal Balls are a fascinating and futuristic project designed to study the mysteries of the solar system in a whole new way. Officially known as spherical probes, these metal spheres are engineered to withstand extreme conditions while traveling through space. Unlike traditional spacecraft, their rounded design provides superior durability, allowing them to bounce, roll, or even survive high-impact landings on alien surfaces like asteroids or moons. Packed with sensors, cameras, and communication systems, these metal balls will collect valuable data about terrain, temperature, and atmosphere. NASA's big metal balls could redefine planetary exploration, turning simple spheres into powerful scientific tools for uncovering the secrets of distant worlds. Atmos Phoenix is a groundbreaking German re-entry capsule that completed its first orbital test in April 2025, becoming Europe's fastest moving private company to launch a functioning cargo return system. The capsule uses revolutionary inflatable heat shield technology, acting as both thermal protection and high velocity parachute, safely returning up to 100 kilograms of cargo from orbit, perfect for space-grown pharmaceuticals and biological experiments. Phoenix One launched on SpaceX's Bandwagon 3, completed one orbit, successfully deployed its inflatable shield during re-entry, and transmitted critical flight data. Next Generation Phoenix 2 launches in 2026 with its own propulsion for precise independent landings. Retry. NASA is seeking commercial partners to develop cube-shaped robots for the International Space Station, and these little helpers could revolutionize how astronauts work in orbit. These compact robotic cubes autonomously float through the station, performing routine maintenance, inspecting equipment, documenting experiments, and assisting with emergencies while crew focuses on critical science. The cube design lets them navigate tight spaces, carry tools and cameras, and dock with charging stations using propulsion systems perfect for microgravity. NASA's push for commercial development means private companies could create entire fleets of these assistants, making space stations safer and more efficient while reducing astronaut workload. The Parker Solar Probe just sent back the most incredible images ever. The closest photos of the sun from just 3.8 million miles away, where temperatures hit millions of degrees. These aren't typical fuzzy images. They're revealing mind-blowing details of the sun's corona, including massive plasma structures, magnetic switchbacks, and solar wind acceleration never seen before. Flying through the solar atmosphere at 430,000 miles per hour behind a revolutionary heat shield withstanding 2,500 degree temperatures, Parker is literally touching the sun. 
These groundbreaking images help scientists finally understand solar storms and space weather that can knock out satellites and power grids on Earth. Azania 2 is an advanced laser ranging station in Tenerife, Spain, recently finalized by German company Digos for the European Space Agency. Working with partner station Izania 1, it tracks space debris and satellites with unprecedented precision. Izania 2 fires high power laser pulses at orbital objects, while Izania 1 receives reflected photons to determine exact positions, enabling accurate collision avoidance for satellite operators. Part of ESA's OMLET project, the facility is developing laser based services for space traffic management. The ultimate goal is using laser momentum transfer to physically push space debris out of collision paths, creating a revolutionary orbital safety system. Space Rider is Europe's reusable space laboratory launching in 2027, an uncrewed spacecraft the size of two minivans that spends up to two months in orbit conducting experiments in pharmaceutics, biology, and physical sciences with 600 kilograms of cargo. After its mission, it autonomously returns through the atmosphere at 28,800 kilometers per hour, deploys a massive 70 square meter parafoil at five kilometers altitude, and precision lands within 150 meters of its target. Designed for at least five reuses, Space Rider represents Europe's affordable solution for routine orbital access with its inaugural flight set to land on Santa Maria Island in the Azores. Hassel and the European Space Agency's European Astronaut Center unveiled an innovative Mars habitat design that could house future astronauts on the Red Planet. This isn't science fiction. It's a serious architectural concept tackling Mars' brutal challenges like deadly radiation, extreme temperatures, and complete isolation. The habitat features clever modular inflatable structures protected by Martian soil shields, creating safe living quarters, labs, and greenhouses for food production. What's brilliant is how it prioritizes astronaut mental health alongside survival, incorporating natural lighting, communal spaces, and earth connections through smart interior design, showing what home might actually look like on another world. The Dassault Reusable Orbital Transport is a visionary spacecraft concept developed to make space travel more efficient and sustainable. Designed by Dassault Aviation, this advanced vehicle combines the speed of a rocket with the reusability of an aircraft. It can launch vertically, reach orbit, deliver satellites or cargo, and then glide back to Earth for a smooth runway landing. Using lightweight composite materials and next-generation propulsion, it dramatically reduces launch costs while enabling quick turnaround for multiple missions. The Dassault Reusable Orbital Transport represents a major leap toward fully reusable space systems, bringing us closer to true routine access to orbit. Skyfall is an ingenious drone carrier designed specifically for Mars exploration, basically a mobile airbase for the Red Planet. This innovative vehicle acts as a mothership deploying multiple small drones to scout vast Martian terrain, then recovers and recharges them for repeated missions, solving the limited range problem plaguing single drones. The carrier autonomously navigates Mars' rugged surface while its drone fleet maps canyons, investigates caves, and explores dangerous areas too risky for rovers. What makes Skyfall brilliant is operating in Mars' thin atmosphere using the carrier's power systems to keep drones flying far longer than alone, multiplying exploration capabilities and discovering potential sites for future human settlements. NASA's X-59 is a game changer, a supersonic aircraft designed to fly faster than sound without creating ear-shattering sonic booms that banned supersonic flight over land decades ago. This sleek experimental jet uses revolutionary aerodynamic shaping with an incredibly long nose and uniquely positioned engines to break up shockwaves, producing just a gentle thump instead of the traditional boom. 
Flying at Mach 1.4 and 55,000 feet, the X-59 will conduct test flights over American cities measuring public reaction. If successful, this technology could bring back supersonic commercial travel, slashing cross-country flight times in half, and revolutionizing air travel forever. Rocket Lab's commercial solution to the Mars Sample Return Mission is a game-changing step toward affordable interplanetary exploration. Instead of massive government rockets, Rocket Lab uses its Electron Rocket and Photon spacecraft to create a smaller, faster, and cost-effective system. This innovative design can collect, store, and return Martian samples using advanced automation and lightweight propulsion. By combining reusable components with efficient technology, Rocket Lab aims to cut costs and shorten mission timelines. It's a bold move that could make Mars exploration more accessible for future scientific and commercial missions. Sierra Space and NASA are teaming up to develop game-changing space station technology that'll revolutionize orbital living. They're working on expandable habitat modules that inflate in space to create massive living areas while launching compactly, plus advanced life support systems that recycle air and water more efficiently than current stations. The partnership focuses on testing cutting-edge materials for harsh space environments, innovative docking mechanisms, and large-scale inflatable structures that could transform how we build in orbit. This groundbreaking tech isn't just for NASA. It's paving the way for Sierra Space's Orbital Reef Commercial Station and the future of private space outposts in low Earth orbit. Haven 1, the world's first commercial space station, marks a bold step into the future of human space exploration. Designed and built by Vast Space, Haven 1 is a fully independent orbital outpost created to support research, manufacturing, and even space tourism. Unlike traditional government stations, it's privately owned and built for flexibility, capable of hosting four astronauts at a time for extended missions. Equipped with state-of-the-art life support systems, high-speed communications, and solar-powered energy, Haven 1 will orbit Earth as a hub for innovation and commercial opportunity. This station represents humanity's next leap, turning outer space into a place not just for astronauts, but for everyone. Spin Launch is a revolutionary space technology company developing a completely new way to send payloads into orbit without using traditional rockets. Instead of relying on massive amounts of fuel, Spin Launch uses a gigantic centrifuge to spin a projectile at incredible speeds and then hurl it into the sky at over 5,000 miles per hour. Once the payload reaches high altitude, a small rocket engine ignites to complete the journey into orbit. This approach drastically reduces launch costs, fuel use, and environmental impact, making space more accessible and sustainable. Spin Launch could completely redefine how we reach space, faster, cheaper, and greener than ever before. Super Nexus is a game-changing nuclear-powered rocket concept that could revolutionize deep space travel by dramatically slashing journey times to Mars and beyond. Unlike traditional chemical rockets, this beast uses a nuclear reactor to superheat propellant, creating continuous thrust with incredible efficiency that could cut Mars trips from months to just weeks. The nuclear thermal propulsion system generates vastly more power than conventional engines while using less fuel, making it ideal for heavy cargo missions and crewed expeditions to the outer solar system. NASA and private companies are actively developing this technology, with ground tests underway proving these reactor designs are safe and viable for spaceflight. Sunbirds is developing a revolutionary nuclear fusion rocket that could transform space travel by harnessing the same power fueling the sun. Unlike chemical rockets or nuclear fission designs, this fusion engine creates thrust by fusing atoms together, releasing massive energy that could propel spacecraft at unprecedented speeds, potentially reaching Mars in weeks instead of months. 
The technology uses magnetic fields to contain superheated plasma at millions of degrees, creating continuous high-efficiency propulsion, making deep space missions to Jupiter and Saturn feasible within human lifetimes. While still in development, Sunbird's compact fusion reactor design represents the holy grail of space propulsion technology.